Good afternoon. My name is William Shu, and this talk describes our research on ontology-based link prediction in social networks. This is joint work with my colleague Doina Karaja, my PhD student Walid Aljandal, and my shared master student with Doina, Vikas Bahirwani. It's predicting in social networks, which have become increasingly prevalent in recent years, including social networks such as MySpace, Facebook, and LiveJournal, the particular network that we're analyzing. Now, a social network can be seen as a graph in which nodes denote people and communities. In this case, uh, individual users, and the edges denote some kind of link, friendship link, uh, which represents a trust relation between users. So here we can look at a relationship between Joe and Jerry that's not reciprocated because it's a directed graph. In some networks such as Facebook, all of the links must be reciprocal and in fact the, both ends, both U and V in a friendship between U and V have to confirm the existence of that link. And so in this case we have links between Eric and Jan that are reciprocal and between Joe and Jerry that are not. Now the basis for actually determining whether two candidates, say Joe and Mike, are friends, are whether they have any common, uh, any friends in common, and whether they have any interests in common. So in this case, they do, and what we're interested in doing is winnowing out the actual interests that are significant. And what we'd like to do is predict friendship links in the Live Journal social network. Now this is work that started back in 2006 with a paper in the AAAI Spring Symposium series in 2006 and subsequent follow-up work in the International Conference on Web Logs and Social Media in 2007. The purpose of predicting friendship links includes applications such as recommender systems. And what we're trying to do is extract graph-based features such as the number of common friends or the in-degree and out-degree of a node, the centrality and betweenness. These are topological features of the graph. And these turn out to be good link predictors. At the same time, in our original work, we tried to look at u developing simple interest-based features, and we found that they weren't very useful because, they're, first of all, there are a large number of interests, and second, simple interest-based features cannot capture the intrinsic semantics of the user's actual interests. So, for example, most of the users are on any social network are interested in computers, and many of them are interested in books, music, and so on. What we'd like to do is organize the interests of users into an ontology that can capture the actual semantics. A, a simple and straightforward example of an ontology, of course, is a concept hierarchy. And we can take a concept such as sports and refine it into net-based uh, sports and field and court-based sports, and then further into tennis and racquetball and football and basketball. What we'd like to do is then to engineer a user interest ontology and then actually use it to predict the existence of friendship links. Toward that end, we've actually developed a data set of a thousand users where a user profile includes the interests of the user such as games, Harry Potter, and books. And these are keywords. These are actually key phrases. In LiveJournal, a user can have up to 150 interests with up to four keywords that are space delimited and each keyword can be up to 15 characters in length. The user profile also includes the set of friends that are named by a user, that are indicated by a user, and the, number, the set of uh, people that indicate that that user is their friend. So we have the adjacent and incident uh, edges of each node. Together, there are 22,000 unique user interests among 1,000 users, and among uh, 1,000 squared possible friendships, there are about 1% uh, or 7,500 uh, extant links. What we'd like to do is group these interests into a hierarchy by clustering interests based on their definitions or descriptions. And for that purpose, we I've identified four sources of information. The first is an online dictionary of words and phrases, WordNet Online which is very commonly used in building uh, ontologies. Other sources of uh, ontological uh, information are the Internet Movie Database, where movies have keywords that represent the genre of each film, 
and the Amazon Associates web service where books also have genre descriptions and keywords. In addition, we have the WordNet online phrase dictionary. So what we tried to do is, for every interest in the data set, first query WordNet online, IMDB, and AWS to see if any definition is found among any of these three initial data sources. And if not, then we go to uh, the WordNet online phrase dictionary. So let's look at WordNet online itself. We have three different word senses for the noun character, dealing with the moral sense, uh, qualifications, dependability, reference, if we say a character reference, uh, the, the sense of a written character, graphic symbol written, representing, used to represent speech, and the bioinformatics sense of character, that is, genetic characteristic or makeup. In IMDb, character is a variable that ranges over such values as reality, film, fantasy, history, and so on. And we can think of that as being related to the idea of a film character. In the Amazon Associates web service, there's also characters in novels, uh, char characters in detective fiction, and so on. And because these three sources all have hits on the word character, WordNet uh, online phrase dictionary is not queried. If we look at descriptions for a named entity such as Harry Potter, there is no description in WordNet Online, which is a, a uh, dictionary. But in IMDb, there are hits on Harry Potter, of course, dealing with the films. Now, you'll notice that here the actual hits on Harry Potter deal with the actual with genre keywords, whereas in AWS they deal with some of these deal with actual um, books, Deathly Hallows, uh, Order of the Phoenix, and, and so on, and Half-Blood Prince. So, if we look at here, the, the word not online phrase dictionary is also not used, but where a phrase such as AIM pranks, AOL instant messenger pranks, does not occur in WordNet Online, IMDB, or AWS, then it, uh, the online phrase dictionary, which is sort of like uh, uh, an analog of the jargon file, is actually queried instead. What we can do is take the actual uh, interest keywords, interest descriptions that are found using this process and use hierarchical divisive clustering to drill down and take interests and divide them up. Now what we did is we drilled down in AWS itself so that within the books there are 16 subgenres of books based on the uh, information, the interest descriptors, and 19 clusters in total. The similarity metric which is necessary for us to be able to compare phrases is not based on string instance, but the number of word 